All right, hey guys, Sam here, back with a DIY part two. So today we're gonna to be building a, something a bit different. We're gonna be building a calf block. So we've seen a couple of videos on this you know, online, trying to you know think of stuff that we could build for the gym just to do calves, because we honestly don't have anything to do calves. So we've just been doing like single calf raises and stuff like that. And we were just thinking, you know, we need to try and build something for calves. So we're looking at different types of calf raises and stuff like that. But then we've got a cable, um, but we can put bar attachments, we can put cable attachments on it. But we don't really have anything that allows our toes to be up so we can't get the full stretch and full range of motion on the calves. So saying that, we decided to, you know, make make one of our own. So it's pretty simple, it didn't cost us anything pretty much. We, uh, we had a lot of the supplies anyway. And yeah, we'll get started. Let's go. Alright, so first and foremost, what we're gonna need, some timber, some screws, some grip tape, tape measure. Sharpie, saw, and a drill. That's right, so pretty simple what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna cut this timber down even to even slices. Um, haven't really measured it properly, but we're just gonna cut into quarters. So we just need four parts, four bits. And then we're just gonna drill together and just create a little um, calf raise platform and just put some grip tape over the top of it for some extra stickiness. Yeah, it's not that hard of a job. Should take about 10 minutes. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so, you know, in case you don't understand what we're building so far, even if you don't see the thumbnail and just, you know, want to know, I'll do my world's famous sketches for you. So let me just draw this real quick. Draw it up. We don't really know exactly what we're doing, but, you know, nothing wrong with that. All right, so, that's what we're going to be doing pretty much. So not that hard, eh? Um, <laughs> but, Basically, you got one, two, three bits of wood. So B O W, bow bits of wood. We're gonna use the screws for one, two, three, four, and we're gonna put some stuff on top of that probably. So you know, you're gonna need six screws, and then we're gonna put some grip tape on the top layer here. So that's grip tape. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Sweet. So we're gonna cut in four even parts. All right, so we've got a 2.4 meter long bit of timber. That's 60 centimeters um, quarterly. So that'll be four even 60 centimeter pieces. We want them to be pretty even just because it's, it doesn't really need that, that, it's not that technical. So yeah, just the more even the better and then we can fix it up later. But as long as we've got four even bits of wood, um, that's, all, that's all we need. All right, so now we've got all the lines marked up, it's time to cut it. So if you can get yours cut at your local hardware when you actually buy the timber, it'll be a lot better than actually having to mark it up yourself. But for us, you know, we couldn't get it cut, so we're just gonna cut it ourselves. As long as you've got a saw, it doesn't really matter. It's pretty easy, just make sure you mark up both sides, um, just so you know you're cutting down a straight line. And yeah, just nice, big, long, clean cuts. But yeah, try and get it, try and get four even parts if you can, already pre-cut. Saves, saves a lot of effort. All right, let's cut it. Also, we're going to be using eight sixty mil screws. All right, so we've just got two bits of timber and now we're going to use these at the base. So these are going to be at the actual platform of the, of the calf block. So you're going to have these like that and pretty much we're just going to have like a H design. So you want to make sure that these are flush against the sides here and you want to also make sure that these two are level. So um, luckily we've got a square gym floor, uh, which I'm just lining up along these. And then we'll just measure to make sure it's smack bang in the middle. Alright, so 60, so it'll be 30 will be in the middle. And we're going to make sure that the timber is right about there. So the way I'm marking out the middle, so this is a 6 centimetre length, so I've just marked out 30 centimetres. Put a little bit of a notch there. And same with this, so this is 70 millimetres, so 7 centimetres across, so 3.5 centimetres to 35 mil, um, right here. And so when we screw it, we've got to match these up. And then boom, that's exact middle. 
these for both sides and then we'll screw it in. All right, let's go. All right, so now we've got both sides lined up pretty nicely. We're just gonna screw it in. So again, we're using some 60 mil screws. As, as you can see, we'll go through both bits of timber that hold nicely. Optional, you can use a bit of um, wood glue just to paste if you wanna hold it stronger, but it's obviously not gonna matter that much. So yeah, we're just gonna drill this up. So you just wanna line it up, make sure it's completely flush. If you've got a bit of square to make sure um, it's flush, then use that, but we don't. So, you know, I'm just gonna eyeball this a little bit and yeah, go for it. We want to put two screws on the outside, outside part of the timber. So we're just going to put two screws there and there. Alright, so we're getting the other bit of timber now. And we're going to chuck that straight on top of this one, um, just to get some extra height. Just to get that extra bit of stretch. So we're just going to screw the board on the inner side um, because we've got the other screws on the outside so it's going to be going down, going down right there. Alright cool, let's screw them together and then we're done. Right, so now that it's pretty much done, the, the design's pretty much done, you know as you can see. Works pretty well. Beautiful. We're just gonna put some grip tape on the top of it. Uh, instead of doing one strip across, we're gonna do two strips and we're just gonna fold it down. Um, so if it's not gonna be, if it's not sticky enough, we're just gonna super glue it a little bit, just so it just so it works. But if you don't want it to super glue it down, you can just cut, you can just cut it off if you want to, if that, that'll work too. So that's our path block. Simple, looks clean, works well. Um, I love it. You know, it's cost us what, like six, seven bucks. I'm not including the grip tape, grip tape because we already had that. But the grip tape only cost us what, like six dollars. So you can get that at your local hardware. The screws and as long as you've got the drill, you know, it's pretty, pretty cheap, pretty easy to build. Saves you fifty bucks stores that you have to buy it from. And yeah, so I'm happy with that. Here's our path block. Also, want to say thank you to the YouTuber who showed us. Um, we'll put his link in the description who we really got this off, you know, got us some inspiration. Um, and if you guys, you know, want to see anything else, want us to build anything else, hit us up, send us some links. We'll try and copy what they do and, you know, see if we can do it ourselves. No? Alright, beautiful. That's our calf block.